And now, your first alert five weather. Welcome back everyone. A beautiful Tuesday afternoon expected here throughout Southern Colorado. We'll see a few clouds this afternoon, maybe a hit or miss shower in the mountains, light winds and above average temperatures. Everything changes though as we make our way into Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah, it's that well advertised storm we've been talking about for the past couple of days here on News 5. It brings wind from the mountains to the plains on Wednesday along with high fire danger and some heavier snow for our state's central and northern mountain ranges, then possibly a few showers as we make our way into Thursday with the continuation of those gusty winds. Before we get to those big changes, let's talk about the next 12 hours. Again, increasing clouds through the afternoon, but not expecting rain or snow showers locally for the rest of your day on Tuesday. We'll be up into the upper 70s in the springs, lower 80s for Pueblo by 9 p.m. down to the upper 50s in the springs and overnight temperatures down to the 50s in both areas. Now this midweek storm is the one that's currently located just off the coast of the Pacific Northwest. It's going to push that warm and dry air off to our east. Now the latest track keeps this low pretty far north, a trend that I was starting to see around this time yesterday. So what does that mean exactly for us? Here's the breakdown. Main energy stays north, so it's a drier looking forecast. I still think we will see some light showers into parts of the Pikes Peak region possibly as far south as the Arkansas River Valley, but the main product is going to be wind and some much colder, te colder temperatures, especially as that low moves east late this week. We'll get that cold northwest flow that develops. We'll see some of the coldest air of the season during the day on Friday, and then Friday night's lows could be cold enough that we see our first widespread uh, widespread freeze, excuse me, region wide here in southern Colorado. Let's talk about those snow totals, though. I mentioned at the top of the weather cast, northern and central parts the state could do quite well. This is the latest blend model. I think we could see as much as four to eight inches from Breckenridge to Vail. Some of these northern ranges could pick up as much as six to 12 inches of snow. Even for Monarch, looks to be maybe a one to four inch snow event for you folks. Crested Butte around two to five. Take a look at your daytime eyes today with still a little bit of daytime heating to go. We'll be up into the 70s in the Springs and Rye, 74 in Walsenburg, 82 for Puebla, La Junta, the warm spot at 84 degrees. Now take a look at the super seven day forecast. High fire danger for now looks to be south of the Pikes Peak region. If that changes, we will go weather alert on Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. Thursday, still some strong winds expected as again, the main energy stays north and that's why my forecast is trending drier. What exactly that means for us locally here is north gust around 30 to 40 miles per hour and still a few hit or miss light rain showers throughout the day. Blustery on Friday with a high of 53 and a low that night down to 28 degrees. For Pueblo, you're probably dry with this system, but still keeping in the chance for a shower as that low could wobble slightly south and sort of update or amend that forecast to keep us more uh, wet than wind. But for now, I think it's more wind than rain is how I see it. So 64 Thursday, 59 on Friday with a low that night down to 30 for Canyon City. Also, a few showers possible after a couple of warm days by Friday, your high only 59 degrees and at Woodland Park. We've got a chance of some light snow showers as we head towards Thursday morning, cold and blustery on Friday. Stay with us. We'll have more coming up after the break.